Hello boys and girls. So the topic that I will be covering in this lecture is on Merck equation and its application. Now what is Merck equation? So it helps us to correlate the electrode potential with the electrolyte concentration. That means the metal that is dipped in the metal salt solution. So the electrode that is developed in this electrode that has a direct bearing on the concentration of the metal salt solution. So for a general electrode reaction, here this is the metal that this is dipped in the metal salt solution and the reaction that is taking place is represented here. So the electrode potential of this particular electrode is represented by equation 1 as E0 minus 0 0.0591 divided by 10 log of 1 by the metal salt solution concentration of the metal salt solution. Now this equation is the NOST equation if the electrode is maintained at a constant temperature 25 degrees centigrade. But if the electrode is not maintained under standard conditions, then also with the help of NOST equation we can determine the electrode potential and this is represented by equation 2 where E is equal to E naught minus 2.303 RT divided by NF log 1 by the concentration of the metal salt. Now here E naught in both the equations represents the standard electrode potential. R represents the gas constant that is 8.314 joules per Kelvin per mole. N stands for the number of electrons involved in the electrode reaction. F stands for the Faraday's constant that is 96500 coulombs. T stands for the temperature in Kelvin and here M N plus stands for the concentration of the uh, aqueous solution of the metal salt. Now what is the significance of the NERST equation? First of all, as I said earlier, it helps us to determine the electrode potential under both standard as well as non-standard conditions. The factors on which the electrode potential is dependent is first is the temperature and second is the concentration of the metal salt. So the electrode potential is inversely related to the temperature and the electrode potential is directly related to the metal salt concentration. So let us see uh, how we can represent the NERST equation of a cell. Now what is a cell? Cell is a combination of two electrodes. So the two electrodes are one is the anode where oxidation takes place, another is the cathode where reduction takes place and both are connected by a externally connected metal wire or any conducting material. So this is a general electrochemical reaction taking place across the cell where A moles of A are reacting with B moles of B giving rise to C moles of C and B moles of so, the NERST equation can be written as the EMF of the cell is equal to the E naught cell, that is the EMF of the cell under standard conditions, minus RT divided by NF, LN, the concentration of the products divided by concentration of the reactants. Now, let us come to the application of NERST equation. So, boys and girls, please remember that the numericals will be, uh, numericals based on the NERST equation are important uh, uh, with regards to your uh, syllabus as well as for your exams. So, first application of NERST equation as I said earlier that we can determine the electrode potential of a half cell that is of an electrode under standard conditions. So, this is a numerical that is given for your uh, easy understanding. So, what is the electrode potential of a zinc electrode built in 0 0.01 molar solution of 25 degrees centigrade? The E naught of the zinc electrode has been, the data has been given to you, that is 0.763 volts. So, let us first write the electrode reaction. And here we are seeing that the zinc ions are adding on the two electrons to give rise to the zinc. So, we apply the NERST equation. That is the first equation is applied here and we find that the electrode potential is calculated as minus 0 0.822 volts after applying all the given data. 
Now the second application of Lord's equation is that you can calculate the cell potential. That means any electrochemical cell. The EMF of that cell can be calculated under non-standard conditions. So this is a numerical that has been provided for easy understanding. Calculate the potential of the following cell at 25 degrees centigrade. Now this is a general representation of our electrochemical cell where we write a salt bridge. The salt bridge represents a double line and to the right of the salt bridge the cathode is represented and to the left the anode is represented. Now how do we represent the anode? We write the metal first and then the metal salt solution and to the right the cathode is represented by writing the metal salt solution first and then the metal. So what are the conditions that are given to us already? It is the E mod cathode is 0 volt. So this is the SHE that is standard hydrogen electrode and the E mod anode that is given as 0 0.34 volts. So first of all, we have to write the overall reaction. That is the copper reacting with the H plus ions to give copper ions plus hydrogen gas. So, we are applying the Nernst equation that is E cell is equal to E naught cell minus 0 0.0591 divided by 2 log of the uh, product divided by the reaction. And after applying all the data, we get the value as minus 0 0.449 volt. Now, the third application is that we can determine the unknown concentration of one of the species that is involved in the cell reaction. Provided the E0 cell and the concentration of the other species is known to us. So, this is an example of a numerical. Here it is told that to determine the concentration of cadmium ions in the following electrochemical cell. Now, this is the electrochemical cell that is given, that this is the cathode and this is the anode. And we can see that the iron that is dipped in the iron salt solution, its concentration is known to us. Whereas the cadmium dipped in the cadmium salt solution, the concentration is an unknown thing that we have to determine. And what are the conditions that are given to us? It is the EMF of the cell and the EMF of the cell under standard condition. And the temperature given as 25 degrees centigrade. So we have to first write the overall reaction and we are seeing that the iron is reacting with the cadmium ions to give the ferrous ions plus cadmium. So here the product is the ferrous ions and the reactant is the cadmium ions. So we apply the Nernst equation that E is equal to E naught minus 0 0.059 divided by 2. Why we are writing 2? Because 2 uh, moles are involved in this reaction. So log the concentration of the ferrous ions divided by concentration of the cadmium ions. And since all the data are given, only the concentration of cadmium ions is unknown we find that the concentration of cadmium ions is equal to 0 .01, 0 0.001 molar. The fourth application of Nernst equation is that it helps us to determine the pH of the solution and the fifth is that it is also used for determining the valency or the number of electrons that are involved in the electrode reaction. So, hope you have understood the concept of Nernst equation and its application. Please be reminded that numericals will be coming from this exercise and hope you can clear your concepts from this lecture. Thank you.